Carve, tell us. The La Liga president, not for the first time, has had a right old pop at the Premier League. What's he said? Yeah, Javier Tebas always likes uh, speaking his mind. Uh, he was speaking today at a conference about the future of European football and uh, he criticised the Premier League. He said the Premier League is not financially sustainable. Uh, all the clubs make big losses, apparently. Uh, even though they make big losses, they spend huge sums on transfer fees. Other leagues can't compete with the Premier League. Uh, I think it was pointed out that last summer the net spend in the Premier League was more than a billion pounds in the summer transfer window. Uh, he said all the clubs in the Premier League lose money, there is no sustainability, the Premier League is not financially sustainable. And he went on to say that the only two leagues uh, that were financially sustainable in Europe were, surprise, surprise, the Spanish League and also the Bundesliga. I think from the Premier League's point of view, uh, they would say that we are the most popular, most watched, most successful uh, football league in the whole world. Yes, some of our clubs lose money, uh, but uh, some of them make money as well. And they spend money. Yes, they spend big, big amounts of money, but they're also making a lot of money commercially and from uh, broadcast deals, for instance. And the Premier League does have financial fair play rules. OK, they may not be as strict as the ones in Spain, uh, but there are rules in place as well. And not everything is perfect, for instance, in the Bundesliga. Yes, they've got stricter financial rules, but it's ended up with Bayern Munich winning the title every yeah. year for, what is it, 10, 11 years? Well, not everything's perfect in that Liga. I mean, Barcelona well, been a basket case. Uh, well, mm. Barcelona and Real Madrid historically being subsidised by banks and the government and getting favourable loans. Uh, so, you know, the Spanish League is not perfect as well. But I sometimes, I know it's easy to criticise Javier Tebas, but he does talk some sense and he does sometimes make good points because if you're a Spanish club and you support your team and you're watching your team week in week out and then their clubs from the Premier League who are 17th, 18th, 19th coming along buying your best players for 20 million pounds, 30, 40 million pounds when you can only make afford to make loan signings, you know, you've got to see it from their point of view as well. On All the right. other hand, when Tebas is saying this, PSG are thinking, well, we're getting the week off, so this is good for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know the Spanish for sour grapes, but is this sour grapes or has he got a point? Oh, I, think, I think it's a, a, a bit of both. Um, I, I think the Barcelona point is, is, is sound, Mike. I mean, you know, they didn't just go out and spend recklessly uh, this summer. They went out and spent on players they didn't really need. I think you could argue, you know, the amount of forwards they've got at the moment is absolutely incredible. You know, there's been talk of them wanting to bring back or exploring the possibility of bringing back Aubameyang if, if, if Memphis were to go to, to Atletico. But would, would they really need that? You know, there's such an incredible log jam there anyway. Barcelona's transfer window is going to be really interesting because seeing as they didn't make the Champions League last 16 for the second year in a row, they are going to have to sell at some point.